What's going on, guys? This is the Bam Horror Box. We're going to unbox this. We're going to show what we got. Um, so, looks like that, usually. And, um, and then we got our paper. I see a hand, which I'm really excited about. That looks really cool. So, I will say, I'm going to have to use this because I remember that there was nothing in here that I wanted. No, none of the... Uh, None of the shows, none of the franchises, nothing really caught my eye. However, I didn't want to cancel because they, if any of you guys that have Bambox, it, they're behind in ahead months of stuff, so it's really hard to cancel a specific box without canceling either everything or you cancel the wrong month and get a box you don't want or whatever. So I just kept the dang box, and I'll just probably resell everything in there unless there's something I like. Um, but I'm going to keep this because I... I'm pretty sure I know nothing of what is in here. Um, we're going to scratch off our scratch off card. Because that's what you do to scratch off cards. You scratch them off. Oh, we got two. We got two. And no. Okay. So. Alright. You know. It, it, it is what it is. I'm going to do the pen first. And I definitely don't know what this is. I don't even know. It looks like a Edgar Allan Poe or something. I don't know. Man, so it's an Alfred Hitchcock film. So okay, so it's just an Alfred Hitchcock pen. So and it's got the Raven on there, black and white. It looks like it's one of the limited ones. I don't know. Is it limited? I don't think so. Never mind. But that's cool. You know, my lighting sucks. But yeah, really not too bad. I like that pen. Um, I'll probably actually maybe keep that. So you got artist series card. Um, so, Buffalo Bill. Fantastic, so... Cool. Um, so, I really want to see what this hand is, because I absolutely love this. Um, and it's plastic, but it's like plexiglass plastic. I know, I say stupid things, but it's really thick. I mean, it's really cool. Um, so, it's... This is from the remake of The Invisible Man. Um... So, yeah, from 2020. I mean, yeah, this is cool. So, I will keep this. I might mount this on, like, my shower wall. <laughs> like, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. But I really like this. I think it's really cool. This is the stuff that I like that is just out of the box. I mean, it's in a box, but, yeah. Um, yeah, this is the stuff that I like. Super cool. Um, so, we got a print and the autograph. Um, uh, and the autograph print as well. So, we'll see what we got print-wise. Yeah, no, no idea. Let me grab out this thing, because I have no idea what this is. But while y'all looking, I'm going to look as well. So, 2020's The Cell. I didn't see it. So, I've been so behind on horror movies, uh, lately. I, I am a horror fan. I really am. Trust me. I just, I am so behind on them. So when they announced all these new movies, it wasn't my thing. So, so I don't even know what this is. So, Insidious Chapter 2. Oh, God. Not too shabby. So, we got autograph from Insidious Chapter 2. I like this one. Out of the two, um, out of the two prints that they had signed, I would have much rather have this one. So, really cool. Um, Beckett Certified. It actually looks like the print is scratched, so that's not cool. Um, I don't know if you can catch it with a camera, but under the sticker there, there's some mania. I don't know. Yeah, probably won't be able to get on camera, but yeah, so that kind of stinks. But yeah, I mean, really cool. I, I dig the print. I dig the autograph. Beckett certified. Not too shabby. Um, again, not the best box considering I knew, but I knew I wouldn't like anything in it. Um, I'll probably keep the print just because it's really cool. The autograph print just because it's really cool. Other than that, oh, and the hand. I'll keep the hand from The Invisible Man. So other than that, yeah, it's, it's a cool box. Definitely not for me, but because BAM is so jacked up with their billing and stuff, it's such a pain. Um, and, and no one even know, I don't even know what boxes these are. They're chapter something, a volume something. I don't know. Um, but appreciate you guys checking it out. Um, I wanted one monthly subscription box that I could always count on. And, um, this one, if you guys have any 
options, let me know. Um, I've done Fright Crate before, and it was never consistent enough for me to want to keep it. I've done Loot Crate, done Loot Horror, done all that stuff, and it's just, eh. Um, I will say Loot Crate, Loot Crate stuff had the best value resale-wise, um, but I prefer something signed just in this day. Um, and Zobi uh, is just quite expensive for me for what you're getting. Um, and then the fact that if you want to get a Funko autograph, Funko Pop or something, you're going to upgrade. So I'd rather get a $35 box like these and not have to upgrade and occasionally get a Funko autograph, Funko Pop. So, um, cool. I appreciate it, guys. Um, love y'all. I'll see you soon. Uh, you can laugh at me and my horror, my lack of horror knowledge. Uh, you follow me on Instagram, same same name as the YouTube name down here because I'm not a very creative person. But I do appreciate you watching. Um, see you soon.